Hey survivors, in this video I am going to be talking about why we should avoid socialising with narcissists. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications of my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new merchandise in the Narcsfiver store. We have new designs on our t-shirts, tank tops and mugs. The link to the Narcsfiver store is in the video description. Avoid socialising with narcissists. Avoid interacting or engaging with narcissists. Avoid participating in social activities or mixing socially with them. Even having narcissistic friends or associates can be very detrimental to your life. The people that you do socialise or engage with should be at a similar level of development and awareness as you are. They should have an awareness and an understanding of narcissists and toxic people and they should be taking the proper measures to avoid these types of people. If you start engaging with people who do not have this awareness or understanding, you open yourself up to the risk of inviting more narcissists and toxic people into your life. If you are around people who have no awareness or understanding of narcissistic abuse and they have no interest in discovering what it is about, it is highly likely that they will cause problems for you at some point. You will be unable to confide in them about what you have been through. Your experiences will be completely unrelatable, which will leave you feeling invalidated. There is also the possibility that this friend or associate may have narcissists or toxic people in their lives and if not now then they may in the future. This is why it is very important for you to only socialise or engage with people who are at a similar level of development and awareness as you are. When you engage with people who are not at a similar level of development and awareness, they will be trying to manipulate or take something from you. You need to be driven by your purpose in life. This makes it difficult for narcissists and toxic people to get to you. Most of these people do not have a purpose. They are just looking to use or leech off other people. When you don't have a purpose in life, it gives them opportunities to take up your time, use you for whatever they are looking for, and get you caught up in situations that may be unfavorable to you. These kinds of people do not have your best interest in mind. They are only looking to take something from you or use you for something. Or they could be envious of what you've got or what you've accomplished and they could be looking to destroy it.
People can either build you up or break you down. They can either raise your vibration or bring you down to their level. Narcissists and toxic people always leave you worse off than you were before you met them. This is why it is so important for you to avoid socializing or engaging with people who are not at the same level of development or awareness as you are. Narcissists can be very convincing and persuasive. They can make you believe that they have something to offer or they can contribute or benefit you in some way. You need to observe the progress and achievements in their lives. If they haven't created or built anything of significant value in their lives, how could they do it for you? This is what you have to look for when you are socializing or engaging with new people. If they are not already satisfied or fulfilled in their lives, you will not be satisfied or fulfilled with them. They might be able to fool you in the beginning, but soon enough the cracks will begin to show. These types of people are not whole or complete. They use things from the external environment to create the illusion that they are satisfied or fulfilled, but it's never real. Because true satisfaction, true fulfillment comes from within. People who are always looking to manipulate or take something from you are not whole or complete. They have no purpose in life. They have no motivation or drive towards anything significant or meaningful. When you associate more with people who do have a purpose and are making great efforts to achieve or obtain something, you are far more likely to progress and succeed. You are far more likely to grow. You cannot grow when you are around people who are constantly manipulating you or trying to take something from you. These types of people will only hold you back. They will only prevent you from achieving the level of success that you are capable of. If you want to progress, you need to be around people who are more successful than you are, or at least at the same level. This goes for anything in life. If you start settling for people who are beneath you, they will only bring you down to their level. They will get envious and take things from you. They will leech your time, energy, money. And you won't have anything left for yourself to grow or develop into the person that you want to be. Be conscious of the people you keep in your circle. Be conscious of the people around you. Family members, friends, associates. A person can either build you up or break you down. Remind yourself of your purpose. Remind yourself what you are working towards. 
and then identify whether these people are building you or hindering your progress. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcosmothercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new merchandise in the Narc Survivor store where you can purchase your own Narc Survivor t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.